Happy New Year, uh, fellow hu humans. Um, in this episode, I will, I will talk about how to make, uh, cooldowns or, yeah, cooldowns. This might be a lot shorter. I might just call this episode, it was the last episode, episode 3. I might just call this episode, like, episode 3.5 or something. <laughs> um, because it's sort, it's kind of a mini episode, I guess. But, let's hop in and let me talk. So, let's say you wanna have a cooldown on something, or we did something, we, I talked about the simple version of this. Uh, previously, uh, with this, so we made a tool giver. Uh, this orange block. We made it a, a a button that when you step on it, it gives you a tool. And you see, it turns black for a second, and then it goes back to orange. And you can only use it when it's orange, so that you can't just stand on it, and it just infinitely gives you like so many um tools, right? So if we made a script, also local scripts were added, that's cool stuff I'm excited to do stuff with. If we add a script and we make a loop, we can get a for loop and initial, uh, this is so. This is what number it starts at, uh, what it increments by and then how many times will it repeat. But if you just set all of these to zero, it just becomes infinite. Let's make it print. This is infinite. And if you, for example, use this and like instead of printing it, like it maybe adds a part or something. Actually, let, let's make it add a part because the output will lag and the game will also lag, but it will be easier to tell. We'll add a part to game.workspace and now this is can basically don't do this by the way Th don't do this <laughs> this will basically crash your game if you leave it on for too long cuz it's infinitely oh yeah there we go <laughs> I <th> <laughs> My game is frozen. So, it's doing that because it's adding parts. Uh, as, you, as you can see, my game is frozen. And now it's back. It took like like 10 seconds to load it because how, how laggy it was. Do not do that, by the way. Um, but so basically, the script, it's, it's a machine. It's not a person, right? So, it can go, it can do stuff as fast as your internet speed allows it to. Um... And so this is infinitely creating parts, but so what it but but it was infinitely creating parts like every like less than a millisecond, which is like like so you don't want that. So like if we like if we did a print, we made it print something. Um, if we run the game, instantly the entire output is filled, like. And now my game is frozen again. It's, it's, you don't wanna, the script is doing something so fast at once. And it's kind of similar with like other things like, uh, like part touched or cause like if you have like a part that has, uh, like a part that is detecting when the player steps on it, if the player just stands on it and starts like spinning in circles or something, it's gonna like infinitely detect, 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 detect. You don't want that. So. We're gonna make uh, cooldowns. Now, let me reopen Retro Studio because it froze. <laughs> Giving that a glorious uh, example. And uh, let's talk about cooldowns. So, I'm calling them cooldowns. I guess they're at a. F a I, I, I guess they're like a, a form of debounce stuff. But I'm calling them cooldowns because. I'm talking. I'm gonna talk about different variations of them, which will, uh, yeah. So, the the thing we did with that part is that the cooldown we did on that was that it only works when the part is. It only works when the part is orange. 
if you if you want to know how to make this it was in episode 2 when the part is touched it gets the color of the part and only if it's bright orange then will it do this stuff if it's any other color it won't but after it does this stuff it's gonna set it to be not br bright orange anymore uh, after it, 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 it after it gives you the tool it's gonna change itself to be black and then wait one second and then go back to orange so that you won't be able to use it for one second because it's not the color it only works on if that makes sense you can make cooldowns without having only uh, without using like part color stuff so in this video I'm gonna talk about making cooldowns and stuff um, not not this kind, I'm gonna talk about making a bool value cooldown, so it will work on anything. And our example that we're gonna want to make a cooldown on is... Someone told me that they're making a game where the player has to search for an object, and when a player clicks the object, it will make a message appear that, that saying that this player clicked this object, and then the object won't be clickable again by anyone. So, first we'll make this button. We'll call this little man. <laughs> um, we'll add a script in here. And we'll say, okay, let's also add a click detector. And we'll say when the click detector detector thing the player who clicked it, we'll call him user. We will get the name of user. So this is the variable of user. We'll get his name property, which will be username. We'll call it that. And now let's just test to see if, if that part works. We'll print the variable known as username. And so basically all this button does right now is it's gonna find our username and it's gonna print it to the output. That's our username, nice. And now let's make it. So there are these things called hints. Uh, they are messages at the top of the screen and you can change what they say. Um, yeah. And we're gonna make it so when you click this button, it's gonna make a message at the top of the screen saying the button was clicked by, and then it's gonna say the player's username. And then we're gonna do the cooldown stuff where you can't click the button anymore, or you could only click it after a certain amount of time. So, we're gonna, after it gets your username, it's gonna create a hint in the the workspace which is in the game and then we're gonna set the message of the hint so game dot workspace dot and it's not gonna be called hint it's gonna be called message when it's actually added in and we'll change its property which will be message if we add the hint in here uh oh it's not called message it's called text okay so the thing, when it's added in, will be called message, as you can see here. And the, the thing we're changing is its text. So, we're gonna change its text to the button was clicked by. It's gonna... It's gonna wait a second. And then it's gonna say the player's username. The button was clicked by the variable as username. It'd be cool if we could put um, variables in the same line as a string, but that's kind of weird. And now we click this button was clicked by Spider Boy underscore Roblox. Let's go. That's cool. <laughs> And then we can make it destroy the message after like an, another like two seconds or something. Where? Another like two, what the? Another like two uh, seconds. And then it will destroy game.workspace.message. And now 
now let's make the uh, cooldown stuff. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bool value into here. We're gonna call it, you can call it anything, we'll call it cooldown. And we'll keep it at false. So, at the start of the script, again, this is pretty simple. That's why I, I said this episode is gonna be kinda short. Um, but it's very helpful. Before we do any of this, we're gonna, we're gonna... Before we do any of this, we're gonna check. We're gonna get the value of the cooldown. We're gonna get its value, which is this. We'll output it as cooldown. Oh. Cooldown. And then, we're gonna check if... If the variable called cooldown is equal to a bool value of false if it's false then it's gonna do all this stuff if it's anything other than false it's not you could also do if it's not true this this symbol means not uh we're gonna we're, we're gonna keep it simple though if it is false but now uh, as you can see it should be exactly the same because this is false right now you can click this it still does the same thing Yep. And so now, let's make it. So after it does all of this... Well, actually, after... So it's gonna check if it's false, and if it is false, it's gonna do all this stuff. Before it does all of this stuff, it's gonna set it to be false. I mean, it's gonna set it to be true. this i think let me actually test if you get a comment and then you attach the comment to something does that just disable it entirely actually instead of i just we can just use let's just move this uh to the side for a second because right now the problem is that we can just spam click this which we do not want them to be able to do if let's say it was um if it was a part touched, you could do this, and then you could do this, and it would spam inputs on this. And that, and it would be the same thing. Uh, you could use the cooldown for any kind of script, this kind of thing. If you, uh, if you understand what you're doing, I mean, you could apply it to anything. But so now, let's do this. It's gonna set it to false, then it's gonna do all the stuff it's supposed to do. And then, it's gonna wait. However long you want the cooldown to last, let's say 5 seconds, well let's say 3 seconds just for example. This thing that the, uh, someone wanted me to make, he wanted it to last infinite, so you could just, you know. Uh, let me, give me a second, so first we'll, we'll do this, it's gonna set cooldown's value to be false again. So when you click it, it's gonna get the value of cooldown if cooldown is false then it's gonna set it to be true it's gonna do all of this stuff it's gonna wait three seconds and then set it back to be false so right now we click this i'm clicking it now it's not doing anything until it's over and then now i can click it and it works what this person wanted to do was that you can't click it anymore afterwards, so we could just not do this. It will just infinitely have cooldown enabled. It won't set it back to true. So now, we can click this, it does that, and now we can't click it anymore because cooldown is infinitely going to be checked, which means this will infinitely not work anymore. So, yeah, that's pretty simple, kind of a small episode. Uh, hope that makes sense. Hope you guys uh, can apply this to whatever you want. Because you can use this for anything, really. Like, as long as you understand how this, this kind of uh, thing works, you could just change some things around and apply it to anything. Really. So, yeah. Hope uh, that makes sense. Uh, hope you guys are having a good... 
day, year, good life. Hope you're having a good life. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bye-bye.